Excuse me, I just got hired and I see that money is being taken out of my check each pay period for the New Hampshire retirement system. I'm not sure exactly where my money is going or what I will get. I have a lot of questions. Can you help me out? Sure, I am happy to help you. Let's sit down and go through your questions one at a time. It is important that you know exactly where your money is going and how it will benefit you at retirement. Before we get started, there are a few terms that you will need to know. Let's go through those first. Retirement system employees will often use these terms when discussing benefits. The first is membership. NHRS is made up of active members contributing to the retirement system and retirees and beneficiaries collecting a pension. Group 1 members include employees and teachers, and Group 2 is police and fire members. Service is a key component of the pension formula. Active members are considered in service and earn service credit for each month that they and their employer are actively contributing to NHRS. Members may also be considered in service for some benefits if they are out under FMLA, workers' compensation, or due to active military duty. Members may also be eligible to purchase additional service time. See our website for details. What about these terms? What do they mean? A member's accumulated contributions consists of their contributions to the retirement system plus credited interest, not the employer contributions. Being vested means you have earned the right to a future pension benefit. There are two ways to be vested. Complete 10 years of creditable service or be working in an NHRS position at or beyond your normal service retirement age regardless of your years of creditable service. Normal retirement age is 60 for Group 1 members in service prior to July 1 of 2011 and all Group 2 members. It's age 65 for Group 1 members hired on or after July 1 of 2011. I know NHRS has to do with retirement, but what else is there to know? NHRS is a public employee defined benefit plan which provides retirement, disability, and death benefits to eligible members and their beneficiaries. Both you and your employer each contribute towards your retirement nest egg. You can receive a lifetime pension at retirement once eligibility requirements are met. The benefit is calculated based on years of service and average salary using formulas outlined in state law. What is the difference between NHRS and a 401k plan? A 401k is a defined contribution plan, where the retirement benefit is based on contributions and investment earnings over the course of your career. With a defined benefit plan, like NHRS, you know what you are getting and that you will have it for life. With a defined contribution plan, you can't be certain until you retire and you can't outline the benefit. Your employer may provide you with access to a defined contribution plan, such as a 403B or 457 plan. Ask your employer for more information on what they may offer in addition to NHRS. Who is responsible for running NHRS? The New Hampshire Legislature is the plan sponsor for the retirement system. RSA 100A and the NHRS Administrative Rules and Policies serve as the plan documents. NHRS is also subject to the Internal Revenue Code. NHRS staff administers the plan. We are a unit of state government, but not a state agency. NHRS Board of Trustees and Independent Investment Committee members are fiduciaries, which means they must act solely in the interest of the membership. How much is contributed toward my retirement? Currently, Group 1 employee and teacher members contribute 7%, Group 2 police members contribute 11.55%, and Group 2 fire members contribute 11.8%. Your employer also contributes toward funding your pension. Although employer contributions are never paid out as a lump sum withdrawal, they are used to fund pension payments. All contributions are held in an NHRS trust fund. If you terminate employment, and opt to withdraw or roll over your accumulated contributions, you will only receive your contributions and the interest. What do you do with my money? 
Contributions and investment income go into the NHRS Trust Fund to pay benefits and cover administrative expenses. Investment earnings have historically provided the majority of trust fund assets. Because markets can fluctuate from year to year, contributions and investment earnings may be more or less than benefits and expenses in a given year. The important thing is that the equation balances in the long term. Do I pick the investments? No, you don't. NHRS investments are professionally managed. The Retirement System's Independent Investment Committee and investment staff work with outside consultants to develop an investment portfolio designed to meet the long-term obligation of the retirement system. Advantages of professional management include pooled risk, significantly lower fees, and access to investments not available to individual investors. Why do I have to contribute? If you work for an NHRS participating employer in a position that is full-time and permanent, then you have to contribute to the retirement system because it's the law. Enrollment into NHRS begins when you start working. But I could use that money now. Retirement may seem far away, so you think you can put off saving for it. But research shows many Americans never save for retirement. 31% of all adults don't have any retirement savings. More than half haven't calculated what they will need for retirement. 53% of people aged 55 to 64 have less than 10000 in retirement savings. 42% of millennials have not started saving for retirement. Be a saver and reward your future self. Why do I have to save for retirement? You will need a substantial portion of your pre-retirement income to maintain your standard of living. No one wants to face financial uncertainty in retirement. Starting now gives your savings time to grow. Do my contributions earn interest? Yes. Interest is set by statute at the beginning of each calendar year and applied to your accumulated contributions. The current interest range is between 5.25 and 0% based on investment earnings in the prior fiscal year. Regardless of economic conditions, you will never lose money on your member contributions. Can I take a loan from my contributions while I'm working? No. Loans are not allowed. Can I put extra monies into this pension plan? New NHRS members cannot contribute extra money into their retirement account. However, please note that an additional contributions provision exists for members who signed up before the program was repealed in 2004. What types of retirement does NHRS offer? The retirement system offers four types of retirement. They are Service retirement, when a member works up to their full retirement age, leaves their NHRS covered position, and applies for their pension. Early service retirement, when a member chooses to collect their pension prior to their full retirement age. Members retiring under early retirement will have a permanent reduction in their pension for the lifetime of the pension. Vested deferred retirement. Once a member has 10 years of service with the retirement system, they may leave their covered position for any reason while keeping their accumulated contributions with NHRS and apply for retirement at a later date under service or early service retirement. There are two types of disability retirement. Ordinary, which is a non-job related permanent incapacity, and accidental, which is a job related permanent incapacity. What can I expect to receive for a pension? Benefits are based on service and average final salary, which means the longer you work and the more you make, the bigger your benefit will be. Here is a simplified example as to how a member's pension may increase depending on their years of service. A Group 1 member hired after July 1 of 2011, retiring at age 65 with an average final salary of $50,000. A benefit with 10 years of service 
would be a pension of 7,576 per year. A benefit of 20 years of service would be a pension of 15,152 per year. A benefit with 30 years of service would be a pension of 23,077 per year. Remember, this is a lifetime benefit. What happens if I die while I'm still working? If a member dies while in service, the member's designated beneficiary may be eligible to receive a death benefit. Death benefits vary depending on whether the death was job-related or not. Regardless of whether or not your beneficiary is eligible for a death benefit, the beneficiary will receive a refund of your accumulated contributions, which consists of your contributions plus credited interest. What if I leave my current employer for another NHRS employer? Nothing changes if you go to another NHRS employer. You still make contributions, you continue to add to your service. If vested, you will remain eligible for a lifetime benefit at retirement and any death and disability benefits stay intact. And what if I leave public employment? You have options. If you leave public employment, you may leave your contributions with NHRS. If you are vested and do not withdraw your funds, you can apply for a pension when you meet eligibility requirements. Even if you are not vested, leaving your contributions with NHRS preserves your years of service should you go to work for another NHRS-covered employer at a later date. While with NHRS, your contributions earn interest at the member interest rate in effect. You can withdraw your contributions plus interest once you have left public employment. However, you will pay taxes on the withdrawn funds and you will terminate NHRS membership and forfeit any right to a lifetime pension. Another option would be to roll over your contributions and interest into another qualified plan. With a rollover, there will be no penalty or tax consequences. This option will also terminate NHRS membership and you will forfeit any right you may have had to a lifetime pension. Remember, members do not receive employer contributions when withdrawing their funds as a lump sum amount. So, will my pension cover my retirement? NHRS benefits are not intended to be your sole source of retirement income. Think of retirement as a stool to help support you after you finish working. Your NHRS benefit is just one leg of that stool. Employee and teacher members also participate in Social Security, which would be the second leg. All members should explore additional ways to save for retirement, including employer-sponsored supplemental plans. This third leg should keep the stool from falling out from under you. This is kind of a random question, but I work for a public employer in another state. Can I transfer that service to NHRS? Service earned in another public employee pension plan is not transferable to NHRS. This includes federal employment. If you move, your NHRS service may be transferable to another state or local plan. You will want to check with your new employer for details. This has all been very helpful. But how can I learn more? Visit our website at www.nhrs.org. Receive news updates and other information by signing up for NHRS email updates. Attend a live presentation. Connect with us on social media, including YouTube, where you can view other NHRS presentations online. And last but not least, sign up for my account. Why would I want to sign up for my account? With my account, you have 24-7 access to your summary information, including service time and your account balance, current beneficiary information, member annual statements. There is also a pension calculator to estimate future retirement benefits, and you can submit some forms online. Okay, sounds good. How do I sign up? Members can register and sign in to my account right from the NHRS homepage. Visit www.nhrs.org, click on My Account, and create a new account or access your existing account. 
I visited the website, signed up for my account, and I still have questions. We've got you covered. If you have additional questions, please email newmember at nhrs.org or call the Retirement System Office at 603-410-3500 or toll free at 1-877-600-0158. Okay, thanks for everything.